Brian Nakov, Nakov, is the president of our um, Art Education Association and uh, also used Abby Cashman's Bible and did most of the work along with his e-board, which are around here at some point, uh, for this show. So I'd like him to give us a little information. Well, I'd like to welcome everyone to the 34th Annual Art Education Student Exhibition. This is called Personal Pedagogy, Art Making Beyond the Classroom. And something that I think is really important that sometimes that goes, goes a little bit overlooked is that uh, while I know we all consider the arts and education incredibly important, and I'll even go so far as to say the cliche that we're uh, preparing our students to better society through knowledge of art. But what, what might get overlooked sometimes is the actual art teachers <coughs> being artists. I think that uh, there's a misconception that, uh, oh, art teachers, they're very crafty. They might do a little watercolors on the weekends, things like that. <laughs> but, but I think it's much more than that. All art teachers are artists, and I, I don't know how else to say that. In, and I think this show speaks for that tremendously. This show is a monument to that fact. Uh, it takes a really special artist to uh, be able to teach, not just teach students that know that they want to be artists, but teach students that you know that less than 1% of them are going to continue in an art-related field. You're doing this to, to promote your passion for art as an artist. And how you live your life as an artist it, it factors into how you teach your students. So I think that the show says just that. Uh, so there's a few people that I would like to thank uh, for, for making the show such a great success. The first one is Dr. Cheryl, Cheryl Hamilton. Woo! <laughs> the faculty advisor to our organization and helped me tremendously through the process of this, this whole exhibition. Uh, the second person that I would like to thank is Kathy Who had to go teach class. Oh, she had to go teach class. <laughs> uh, her and her museum class uh, set up the show once uh, all of the work was cured. The next person I would like to thank is Holly Hughes. Is Holly here? Holly, are you here? She wasn't sure if she could come. Gotcha. Thank you. Holly is associate curator at the Albright Knox, and she was the juror for the show. So I'd like to thank her very much for choosing the fine work that went into the show. Uh, next person I would like to thank is Tara Dean. She's Tara. Yeah, Tara. Woo! Oh, with the babies. Yeah, yeah. With the babies. Sarah is the secretary of the art education department, and I'm pretty sure all of our lives would fall apart with that. So <laughs> yeah. I think it's, it's nice to recognize her. <laughs> uh, I would also like to thank Barbara Nelson, who is right over here. Uh, this gallery is named after Barbara Nelson's father. <laughs> And uh, I, I would like to thank her very much for the support that her family has had for the arts and for Buffalo State. And I think it's incredible that we're able to do what, we're, what we do with her help. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank Dr. Michael Parks. Oh, well, there he is. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Parks is the uh, chair of our department, and he is a shining uh, inspiration to all of us. <laughs> uh, and I, I'd like to make note that uh, all the, the hydrangeas went to all the ladies. Dr. Parks, I wanted to get something a little bit more masculine, so I got him red daisies. Ah. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the show, and enjoy the artwork. I'm glad you all could make it. Thanks very much. Thanks.